Hi there, and welcome to followmeg.com. If you're at all like me and love watching the Seahawks and plan on watching them in the upcoming Super Bowl on Sunday, I am going to show you how to make something kind of fun. Seahawks pom-poms, or whatever color you like if you root for another team, so that you can be enthusiastic. These are great to have along with you and amp up the excitement of watching the game. I've seen these for sale in the pro shop for like $10 each, and I'm gonna show you how to make them yourself for under five bucks. To make your pom-poms, you're gonna need a few materials. First, you're gonna want a couple of different colors of plastic tablecloths. You can get these at the party store for a couple dollars each or at the Dollar Tree for just a buck. Next, you're gonna need a ruler, a good sharp pair of scissors, and some masking tape and electrical tape. So to start out, you're gonna need a nice flat surface like this. You're going to unfold your tablecloths, and I'm just going to set one of these aside and show you on the green one. Set all your other materials aside, except for your scissors. Okay, so when you unroll your tablecloth, you're going to unfold it, but you're not going to totally unfold it. You're just going to do it until you have it in half, and it's going to be long and skinny and fold it into two layers. So I'm going to stand up here and show you the next step. So on this end over here, you've got the two open ends, and this is the folded edge. So with your scissors, you come in here, you might have to kind of rub this together just a little bit to get it to open. And then with your sharp scissors, you're just gonna run the scissors along the edge of your tablecloth. And here we are at the end, just again, running your scissors until it's cut all the way through. So now you're gonna have two really long pieces on top of each other. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and fold the long strip in half long wise again. And this is a little bit time consuming because you wanna try to line the corners up as well as you possibly can. Kind of line the edges up here as you go doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get to it. Okay, now that you've folded it again, two thick layers over on top of itself, and it's going to be a long strip, you're going to take your scissors and repeat the process again. Starting down on this end, making sure you're getting all the layers, you're just going to run the scissors along that folded edge. Now you have one long strip. And now more folding and cutting, except this time you're going to go the long way. Okay, so now you have this folded in half again. Here's all the cut loose ends on this side and scooting it down. Here's the folded edge. And again, make sure you get your scissors in here so you're cutting all the layers at the same time. There you go. Each time you cut, the piece, pieces get smaller and smaller. So now you're going to repeat the process again. And now it's just using the top of this tabletop surface, so it's getting exciting. We're almost to the end of the cutting phase. Again, stick in all layers at the end of the folded edge. Put your hand on it so you're getting a nice clean edge. And you're just cutting. And here you have the last time. You, looks like you've got a square. So again, making sure you're folding and getting the edges as close as possible. They're just not going to be perfect and that, that's totally okay. Cutting just the one more time. It's a little bit thicker at the end here. There you go. So now you should have a stack of several different layers all together. Now you're going to grab the blue tablecloth and do the same thing. Now what you're going to do is you have two piles of blue and green stacks. You're just going to start making piles of alternating colors. So I might start with green and do a blue. I'm actually going to make two stacks so I can do both pom-poms at the same time. And each time you're going to be lining up the square corners as best as you can 
They're not going to be perfect. You just do the best you can. Okay, so now you have your two stacks of alternating colors. And you just need to set one of those aside. I like to fold them so they don't go running away on me. Okay, so to cut your tassels, you're just going to have your ruler, your scissors, and your tape standing by. First thing you're going to do is you're going to grab a long piece of masking tape. And you're just going to lay it down the center. You're going to set the ruler on top of the top piece, and then you're going to measure out the width of the ruler here. So it's about an inch. You can see how the edges are all kind of wappy jawed, and that's okay. So with your scissors and making sure you're getting all the layers, I'm just going to start cutting the tassels for your pom poms. Doesn't have to be perfect. The less times you can actually open and close the scissors, the better, because you'll get a cleaner looking edge, straighter cuts. As you can see, it's going pretty quickly. Don't focus on perfection here. And you see how each time I'm leaving about a quarter inch of space between the end of the cut and the tape itself. And each, each of these tassels is a little bit different in size. My end one is a little bit fatter than the one that I started with, and that's okay. So now you're going to go ahead and flip your setup around and do the other side. Okay, next you're going to bind the whole thing together. So you're going to very carefully remove your masking tape. The reason you use masking tape is because it's sticky, but it's not too sticky. And then just swing this thing around on the side. You're going to need some electrical tape. So I like to pull the edge out and get that ready. So you're going to grab all of your layers and you're going to just start accordion folding. So I like to go two lengths over and then one length back. And you're doing an accordion fold here. It gets thicker and harder to hang on to each time, but it goes pretty quick. Straighten this out. Fold it over and fold it over one last time. So you can see there's lots of different layers there. Okay, so I'm going to hang on to that. Grab my electrical tape and grab a good piece like this. Still grasping all the layers together nice and tightly. I'm going to affix my tape, flip it, pull tight, flip it, pull tight, and just keep turning until it goes all the way around. And then you can kind of pull tight and wrap a couple more times. So that's what you're going to end up with when you bind it together, just like that. So if you want to add some kind of a handle, this would be the time to add something like a piece of ribbon. So you could just tie this around here. Tie it really tight a couple of times. And then you'll have something to hang on to in the middle, but you can, you can actually just grab it from the center once it's fluffed and do that as well. I'm going to use the ribbon for those of you using a handle. The last part of the process is the most time consuming and that is just fluffing your pom-pom. So you're going to turn it towards you. I like to set this in my lap but for now I'm not going to. Starting out you're just going to take your pieces and you're going to pull one one way and one the other way. You're just going to repeat this process for a very long time. This is the part where you turn on a movie or something and you go watch a movie and sit and floof your pom-poms. And each time you do a different uh, couple of these little tassel pieces, you're going to want to twist them different ways from each other each and every time you do it. 
And as you can see, sometimes you get it really heavy where you've got lots of green on one side and lots of blue on the other side. And you just want to be, be conscious of that fact and keep on alternating as much as you can. And each time you do it, you want to take your little pieces different directions from each other and not always the same way. The more directions you go in, the less maintenance you'll have to do later on. Sometimes it helps to pull these little pieces aside. So sometimes you're going to want to go down, down and up to the one side, down and up to the other side. Sometimes you're just going to want to go straight across. And when you first start out, you're going to want to pull. And you're going to want to pull and kind of um, stretch the, the plastic material just a little bit. That's okay. And the more you do this, the more your pom-pom will start to fill out. But this is a really labor-intensive part of the process. So this is fun to sit with friends, girlfriends, and put these together. So as you can see, I am about a quarter of the way through the pom-pom and it's really starting to fill out. And I'm flipping it and starting on the other quarter of this side just to show you again what this needs to look like as you're going. So you're grabbing two pieces and you're just kind of pull them in opposite directions. You're going to kind of want to interweave them with the last couple ones that you've done. And this saves yourself some of the headache of pom-pom maintenance later on. Sometimes I'll grab, you know, the third one that I just did and mix it, kind of braid it just a little bit. These pom-poms are especially fun to take with you to actual Seahawks games. So you'll have to save them for next year and sport them proudly on the hood of, on the, uh, the dashboard of your car or in your room or in your living room. These are really festive to have around your house on game day for the Super Bowl. If they are too similarly laid, they will want to kind of come out of their purposefully braided and twist, twisted and tussled state, and they'll want to lay flat. So if you can see, I'm coming to the last couple little strips here of this side, and then I kind of like to come in and intermix them. You see how these are coming to lay together. All the blues just happen to be on the same side over here. And you can kind of twist them and move them like that. So you can see that's one half of your pom-pom and it's pretty full and it's pretty nice and you can see my ribbon here sticking out. Then you flip it and start the other side. All right, we're really getting down to it now. We just have, it doesn't look like we're getting close, but we are. So you're just going to continue the process all the way through here. I think this one has taken me about, I want to say 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, just have a little section left here in the middle. All right, we are near the finish here. I'm just going through to find any parts that are stuck together. Sometimes the little tassels will stick together in groups. But once you're near this finishing point, you're just going to want to kind of rotate it, fluff it a little bit, even it out. Sometimes the center will have a lot more concentration because you've been pulling that way. And you just rotate it, you pull the little tassel fingers a little bit here, there, and everywhere. See, we have some concentration of some here that have gone back to laying the way that they were in the pile to begin with. But ultimately, you'll have your finished product and they're super fun for game day, for 
having in your possession if you are a true Seahawks fan and you don't want to spend $20 on a pair of these. Here is your finished product for five bucks for the pair. All right, we've finished our product making our very own Seahawks pom-poms from Bear and Meg from followmeg.com. I hope you've enjoyed this pom-pom making video and go Hawks!